Hello lovely people, I am back with a quick, I won't necessarily call this a recipe, but it's it's, it's just me putting together um, some holiday cookies to give out as Christmas cheers um, tomorrow. So I am going to put some cookies together, but before I start, I hope you're having a lovely time with friends and family this holiday season. Um, for those that are living in the cold region, uh, is it winter yet? If it, if it is, hope you're keeping warm, um, making some s'mores, marshmallows and cookies and all that good stuff during the holiday season. And of course, I hope you're remembering the purpose of Christmas. I will probably shoot a quick video, uh, maybe Christmas Eve, but just wanted to come on here and show you a quick, quick, uh, the quick packages I'm putting together for Christmas cheers. So I got some dough and I'm not making it from scratch. So you can see I, I got some Nestle. Nestle has, they have some of the, um, I'll say one of the best, well not the best, but they have some very, very good cookies because I haven't tried the best yet, but I love, love, love their cookies. So I got assorted cookie dough. Um, they have this, it's almost like a granola cookie bar type thing. Um, so it's really, really good. I am going to also mix that. I'm going to also use, and this is just cold dough, cookie dough that you bake. But I'm going to add a little flair to it, just a little twist. So I have the peanut butter chocolate chip. I have two of those. I have this snack bar. It has, you know, assorted grains and um, some chocolate chips in there. I have the holiday themed cookies. It has some, you know, colored sprinkles on it. It has chocolate chip as well. I have another granola type um, cookie dough. I also have um, Pils Pittsber Pillsbury. I can't even speak anymore. Pillsbury cookie dough. I purposely, it's the sugar cookie dough, but I'm not going to put any icing or sprinkles on it. I purposely got uh, the dough because it's plain so I can have fun with it. I can put other stuff to uh, add, incorporate other things to it to make it a little bit fun. Um, I also have some more chocolate chip that I'll add some other things to. And that's, a, that's for the cookie dough. For the toppings, I'm going to go crazy with the toppings. I'm going to add milk chocolate chip toffee bites. I'm going to sprinkle some of this on top, um, some of the cookies. I have the coconut flakes. That will go with some of the sugar cookies, that I, the plain sugar cookies that I showed you. Um, I have marshmallows for the sweet tooth. And, and nothing, nothing says, you know holiday Christmas time with hot chocolate like marshmallows so I'm gonna add some marshmallows on top ooey gooey tasty fun and then I have the 100% pure cocoa powder that will also be incorporated into one of the cookies I also have I know I know guys this is, is getting a lot right I also have blackberry jam I'm going to incorporate in the center of some of the cookies. So you have that little surprise when you bite into the ooey gooey cookie. Yes, I know. So I'm getting some of that. And I love, love, love this flavor of, um, it's, it's almost like a breakfast biscuit. Also um, Pil Pillsbury. And this is their sweet Hawaiian flaky bun. Or I think it's a biscuit. Is it called? Yes, biscuits. So I have this and I'm going to also have fun with it. Um, so whoever in each package or little Christmas cheer, I'll call it Christmas cheer uh, box, I'm going to have assorted cookies, nice and warm and ready to go. Um, for the cookie box, I have this. I got it from Amazon. It's going to be, I'll show you at the end what it looks like, but it's going to be a, it, some small cookie boxes. Um, 
different colors, different themes. This is almost like a gingerbread house. Uh, so yes, it's going to be fun, fun, fun. So something fun and something to to spread the Christmas cheer with. So um, I'll keep you posted, guys. Okay, this is the first batch. This is um, the peanut butter chocolate chip that I showed earlier. So I put one layer at the bottom of the cupcake tin. Um, and then on top, I put the um, blackberry jam. So what I'm going to do is then put another layer on top to cover it. So this, it's cookies, but is the take on peanut butter and jelly uh, sandwich but made out of cookies so it should be fun yeah and I sprayed the tin with some um, butter spray so it's one stick um, all I'll do is now put the next layer to cover it um, and put the peanut butter chocolate chip um, batch in the oven and then have fun with the other uh, cookies okay stay tuned okay so this is the peanut butter um batch I covered like I said I layered the top I covered the gel the jam blackberry jam and then I it created some wells and I put in the toffee bits on top so look at how delicious it looks it's ready I'll just bring it out and let it cool before I get them out so yes they're going to look like cupcakes but they're actually cookies so that's the first batch. Is okay, this is the second batch and I put the sorted cookie dough that I add my little twist to. So uh these two here are the sugar cookies. I added okay, so the sugar cookies are typically just plain white. So I added the um cocoa powder to this one, so that's why it looks like chocolate. Um dough and for both of them I added the coconut flakes so that's going to give it that extra uh, uh, oomph to it so these two are coconut one is just plain with coconut the other has the 100% cocoa powder with coconut flakes and then this is just the plain um, chocolate chip cookie so that's next and then I have the holiday themed. Um, and if you just if you can rewind back to the beginning of the video, you see where I showed you the holiday themed um, cookie dough. So this is the holiday themed around the chocolate chip version. And then on the side here, I have the granola uh, cookie dough the granola and chocolate chip cookie dough on the side so I'm not making it like the typical round cookies um, they're going to be a little bit thicker but you have different flavors so it's going to be an assortment of um, Christmas cheers okay so I'm, it's ready for the oven I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and when I bring it out let it cool before I cut it okay Okay, so you have the I have the rest of the granola batch here. I have that um, Is it raspberry? Uh, granola and then the plain granola. Um, I have them in here So I'm going to put them in the oven along with the other batch and I will show you what I'm doing It's gonna be fun Okay, so let's put this in the oven. There's the other batch with the assortment, the sorted, sorted cookies, or cookie dough rather. And let's put the granola beneath, and put the other one beneath, and give it another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and finally we're almost there the finale we're almost there this is the um, biscuit dough so the P Pillsbury biscuit dough Hawaiian um, flavor that I showed you um, at the beginning of the video so here it is I just put it in 
um, I just put it in the in a bowl so what I'm going to do rather than waste ingredients I have some coconut flakes left I'm going to add that add the rest of the coconut flakes and this is the sweetened coconut flakes am I getting all of it yes okay so that's all I've added everything and then I'm going to add some cocoa powder just dry like that add some cocoa powder I think that should be enough yes that should be enough and I'm going to mix it all together roll it into have it in um, small balls and put it in the oven and it's going to rise um, I know you also um, are probably wondering what I did with the marshmallows the marshmallow is going to go on top of the batch that's currently in the oven so I'm going to add some marshmallows to maybe two of the flavors in there um, not too much so we're not sugar over <laughs> overloading people with sugar um, but yes, so this is the dough. I added the Hawaiian dough. I'm adding, I added the rest of the coconut flakes and the 100% cocoa powder. I'm going to mix it together and roll them up, put it in the oven, and we'll see what the final product looks like. Okay, guys, this is what uh, the second batch looks like. Oh my, I put some marshmallows on top of the chocolate version. Um, you can see it's all uh, ready to go. The marshmallow is melting. Um, and I just wanted to stick to the chocolate because the marshmallow will, will stand out. Um, since the chocolate is dark, I have the others almost ready to go. At the bottom, I have the Hawaiian bun. I mixed it with chocolate powder um, and the leftover, the remaining coconut flakes. So that's not even ready it's just started I just put it in but I'm about to bring this out I'll let it cool before I cut it so hopefully everything stays in place but this is what it looks like see it's oh it's spilling over um, but it smells so 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 good yep just something different and um, I'll show you what the boxes I'm going to use uh, to pack them looks like Hi, hi again there. Um, okay, so the cookies are pretty much done. It didn't take forever. It just took um, a little bit of time for each batch, uh, about 10 to 15, 15 minutes, let's say roughly, for each batch. And here is the cookie box uh, I told you I got from Amazon. Uh, this It comes in a package of, I think, about 30 or 40. Um, so you just put it together, put tissue in it, and this is what it looks like. Pretty. Just nice and pretty. I put some tissue in there, cookie tissues, and I and I'm going once I put the cookies, I'm going to seal it up and to be a nice, nice Christmas cheer. Um I have different uh this is the Santa Claus one. I have the gingerbread house one and that's this this is what it looks like this is the gingerbread house or snowman house um, one and it is pretty 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 so I'm going to package it and I will show you the final outcome okay guys hello guys and this is what the final product looks like it's you know we have these little gingerbread house um, packs of goodies and we have this design and where's the other one and this one so just a little Christmas cheer um, of cookies and some goodies um, it's a good idea actually if you you're giving out to multiple people um, for Christmas cookies 
and um, baked goods is the way to go. Um, so, yeah, I will be handing these out and hopefully they all love it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another video um, I'll be posting prior to Christmas. Um, I'll think of uh, a recipe I'll, I'll refer to video at that time and um, have a great time guys. Bye!